this is configuring fusion middleware components. Here, as I told you, we'll be having a look over IDM, OHS, web tier, and all those. So let's start with one by one. So last session, we had installed softwares, right? We had installed database, RCU, we had installed WebLogic server, we had installed SOA 1213. Okay. So now is the time to create a domain. So okay. How would we start with creating a domain? The very first thing, we will start for configuration wizard. You remember, uh, after completing WebLogic server installation, there was a small checkbox on the last screen, run quick, quick start. Quick start, yes. Yes. So that will invoke my configuration wizard, which will okay. help me to create or extend a domain. Okay. okay, so if you uncheck that checkbox, install another software first, okay, after all your softwares are installed, let's say IDM, SOA, Web Center Content, mm -hmm. Web Center Portal, okay, I'm trying to install all my installations first, at last I will create a domain and I will include all these products in that, in those. Correct. So, I have finished installing my softwares and now I want to invoke my configuration wizard. This can be invoked through domain home slash bin config.sh. My config.sh will invoke the same configuration wizard which run quick that was invoking. Okay. So first thing it will pop me up for configuration wizard will be two options. Whether you want to create a domain or extend a domain. If I want to create a domain, it will ask me the path domain path, middleware path, okay. I will give that and the next important screen comes is for templates. It will ask me whether you want to create a new template, I mean new domain or you want, you have initial template with you and you want to extend using that template. So these templates are very important for, you know, okay. creation of domains. There are various kinds of templates, okay. The types we will be seeing, which template belongs to what, that we will be seeing. Okay. Based on a template, your products, your products, uh, you know, are, uh, are linked with the templates. We install software. What does that mean? It, it is bundled, the, all the properties, binaries, libraries are bundled in some XMLs. Okay. And that XML is called a template, which will store the all the information about your product. Okay, so domain template. Okay, it will define full set of resources within a WebLogic domain, including admin server, clusters, servers, application services. You know, domain template will have information about the things which domain will hold. Admin servers, clusters. It is a framework kind of you can assume. Okay. Based okay. on which, if I am extending my domain with a domain template, it will bring with it a domain framework, okay, a set of already set domain, which I can use to customize, personalize ahead, okay, that way. So, this domain template, the users of domain template, I'll tell you, I have my admin server running on machine 1. Okay. Now, my I want one managed server on machine 2. In this case, to set up such an architecture, I will require domain template. Okay. How the sequence will be? I will install WebLogic server on machine 1. Okay. Now, I will create a domain template of this. I have a domain created on my, um, on my machine 1. Okay, let's say I have admin server, weblogic server, one managed server, SOA. Now I want IDM to run on machine 2. I will create a domain template of this domain, SOA underscore domain. I will run again weblogic installation on machine 2 and here while creating a domain, I will use the domain template used, you know, created, which we created in machine 1. Okay. Are you getting my point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now my machine 
2 will have a domain exactly like my domain on machine 1. Okay, okay. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the way I think it is more useful when you are making a lot of changes to your default domain creation, right? You're right. If you, are, if you are not changing a lot and if you are mm -hmm. keeping the values default, then you mm -hmm. don't need that, correct? Yeah, you don't need that. Yeah. No. Next is extension template. If you want to extend your domain, now this changes comes here. If you, you already have a domain, but you want to extend a domain, okay, you want to add one more product, then in that case you have to extend your domain using a product component or else you can have a template of some product which you can extend using that product template so that your domain will now include that product also. So in that case, the template with which you extend your domain is called an extension template. Okay, so so suppose the same example, machine my machine mm. one has mm. a, a weblogic installation, and then I created a domain with SOA. Okay, mm. now I want to in, include OSB. Okay, right. on the same machine one, I will. What what, what will I do? I will work config.sh again. Right. Or you will yes sorry? yes again config.sh. It will give you two options, create or extend. This time, you will extend you your extend. domain. It ah. will ask you which domain you want to extend. You will give SOA underscore domain. Okay. okay. And now, on the screen, template screen, you will select your OSB server also, OSB component. Correct, correct. Okay. Correct. Now, your uh, domain will have one more managed server, OSB underscore server. OSB one. underscore server one, yes. Okay. That way. That is called extending a domain. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Next is group template. Sorry, again. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. It just came to my mind. So mm -hmm. now uh, the same example that you took. So the machine one, machine two. <coughs> mm -hmm. And now what you're trying to do is, I have extended my domain as. So my extension of domain template, right? Right. Mm -hmm. uh, it will again. If I create a uh, template here, and if I want to do the same in machine two. I can use the same template in by yes. invoking config.sh and use yes. that as a template. Yes, you can use the same template. Okay. 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 Yep. Next is group template. Group template will have collection of other templates which are dependent on that. Let's say I uh, want only one product to be installed, but that that product itself needs few two more products to be installed with it so that template will be a collection of two or more templates on which this main product is dependent so that becomes a group template in short okay we'll see this example while extending our domain okay dependencies and all mm -hmm. next is template name and version so how this template looks like it will have the name of the template will include its product name, okay, let's say IDM, SOA, okay, these product name will be there in the template along with the version also, okay, so mm -hmm. SOA 1213, this, your template will be named like this along with the further extension, okay, XYZ kind of, but crucially it will have SOA and 1213 which will distinguish it from another templates. So that's the names, how it, how the names of templates are given. Okay. Next is template de dependency. Prerequisite templates that provide the resources required by template being described in a given section. So this is what I told you, template dependencies. I need one template, but it has dependency on another. Let's say many of my products installation, if I select it will automatically select my MDS. Mm -hmm. Remember in our RCU, Correct. if I am selecting, yeah, it will automatically select my MDS. So likewise in templates also, they have interdependency among templates. So if you select one template, it will automatically select the uh, base template, okay, which is almost being extended by many of the product templates. Okay. 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 So this is what we discussed from Oracle Home Web Logic, uh, Web, Web Logic Server 
common bin config dot sh you can invoke this ok then domain home and after entering all this you can see this screen 